Okay, guys, we're working on the Outlander. When you hit the brake, it makes an instant right turn for a split second, then straightens out. And let me tell you, 60 miles an hour, that's hairy. This is what was wrong with the car. The lower ball joint was wasted. The caliber was locked so tight that with this tool on the bench, not hooked to anything, it took all my might to squeeze the piston back in. So that's bad. Okay, so we did the obvious. The car needed brakes. I did the caliber, and it's still doing it. So I'm suspecting... That's why I have it hanging here. I don't even care at this point. I'm suspecting the line is swollen right inside here. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the tool in here, allow the piston to come out about a half an inch. I'll go in there and pump it. Then I'm going to try and compress the piston back in. See how hard it is. Okay, if it's hard, you crack the bleeder. If it gets easy, you know there's a restriction in the line, or there's something wrong with the master cylinder. If it stays exactly the same, then start looking at the caliber. Okay, it is a reman caliber. Who knows what they put that in? That seal could be crushed sideways in there. So, quickest way to determine which one of the two it is. We have a new line. Um, I cracked it. The line comes right off. This is all clean in here. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so I know how easy the other one went in with the line hook to it. So, I'm gonna, huh, I got nowhere to prop this. So I'm just gonna hold it. <clears throat> that takes a massive amount of effort to push the piston back in. So now, well, let me center the tool. Okay, that takes massive effort to push it back in. Then when you let it sit a second, the tool is loose again. That is screaming restriction. Okay, not a pinch seal because it would just stay the same resistance. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna loosen the bleeder. Okay, I'm gonna leave that on there so it doesn't spray. Now it goes right in. Piece of cake. Okay, the caliber is fine. It's the hose and it's right there. I can see where it's pinched. Okay, so that's how you diagnose it. So if you got a caliber that's hanging up. Now, if I didn't have the other caliber sitting on my bench and it didn't take all my might to push it in, I would say I misdiagnosed this car. Okay, when I pulled away, I expected it to be fixed and it wasn't. Okay, but this is telling me right now the caliber is good. I get all the fluid right out of here, but as soon as I tighten it up, it has to go through here. It is either restriction in the line, or the cup seal is partly blocked in the master cylinder. Um, and since this has an X system, it would have nothing to do with the other wheel. So basically what I'm going to do is, I can see it. <laughs> Let's take this hose off and get working. So here, you got a slide clip, which looks just like this, and a flare nut. Okay, and the bracket on the car holds the metal line. Spring comes around, does the same thing through here. Okay, there's a slot on the bottom for this to come out. And here it's got a banjo fitting. Magic. So let's see how this works out. That's a very good sign. See it's drip bleeding? The other hose wouldn't do it. So, okay, let it drip bleed a couple minutes, and I'll get Junior to pump it. Okay, right in that coupler, which is this coupler here, the coupler has corroded and crushed the hose. Bear in mind, it's a very, very tiny hole to that hose. Uh, MIG wire, not MIG wire, uh, my brazen wire. Okay, it doesn't take much because this is all cord to handle 1500, 2500 PSI. Well, 1500, but I'm sure the bursting pressure is a lot more. I would have to look at it. Um, so it doesn't take much of that to swell to cause a problem. Now, the other caliber went right in, so we're good, but I probably should invest in a second hose. Um, this car did not drip bleed when I put the caliber on, 
but that's not uncommon because a lot of times the assembly lube keeps it from drip bleeding so I wasn't concerned but this thing's drip bleeding and uh, liquids coming out when I pulled this thing off I just got a couple of drips and that was it so the fluid is still on the top but it didn't come out the bottom so it's acting like a check valve so okay guys let's pump this take it for a ride okay guys we're on the road and uh this car is definitely different already the pedal even feels different the pedal's a tad bit lower which is right so the, the pedal only went down like a quarter of an inch which i know this car obviously since new i know where it felt and that's because of the restriction because the piston starts to come out <coughs> but yeah no it's definitely uh stop with both fronts and instantly nose diving the car so we get a lot of roads we'll take our hands off the wheel yeah we're good are all grooved. I don't know if you guys, you guys can't see it in the thing. So, let's go this way. Make sure these brakes are good. I did put 15 miles on that. Maybe more than that now. No, I put about 45 miles on the brakes. Once home, once to work, once back. It was 45 miles. See, you know how scary it was before?